welcome back guys i hope all of you will be fine so this is question 5.19 of chapter 5 and today we have been starting another very important topic that is related to the multinomial probability okay let us first go through the statement of this question as a student drives to school he encounters a traffic signal this traffic signal stays green for 35 seconds yellow for 5 seconds and red for 60 seconds assume that the student goes to school each weekday between 8 and 8 30 a.m let x1 be the number of times he encounters a green light okay uh, x2 be the number of times he encounters a yellow light and x3 be the number of times he encounters a red light okay find the joint distribution of x1 x2 and x3 okay so this is the statement and uh, in order to solve it here we can also see that uh, the case here is that we have one light which is green the other one is yellow and the third one is red and each one lights up for a certain amount of time and let x be the number of times he encounters a green light x2 be the number of times he encounters a yellow light and x3 be the number of times he encounters a red light so we have to find the joint distribution for x1 and x2 and x3 so this would be what this would be the case of the multinomial probability okay so in order to find the p1 what do we have to do in order to find p2 in order to find p3 what do we have to do p1 is the probability of the which light this will be uh, the first one which is 35 so 35 is here p2 is 5 and for p3 i have to write here 60 okay but these are the seconds in order to find the probability out of them we have to add all the numbers together which are 35 plus 5 plus 60 okay similarly here 35 plus 5 plus 60 and for this 60 35 plus 5 plus 60 as well okay so from it i will get the probability let me move down somehow and here in order to find the p1 what it would be it would be 35 divided by the number of seconds for the first light plus the number of seconds for the second one and the number of time for the second third one because this is the total time okay this is what this is for the number of time for the first one while this one is for the total which is n1 plus n2 plus n3 similarly for p2 i have to write what here it will be 5 divided by 35 plus 5 plus 60 which would be n2 divided by n1 plus n2 plus n3 okay and for p3 i have to write what 60 seconds divided by 35 plus 5 plus 60 so it would be the n3 divided by n1 plus n2 plus n3 okay and finding them out it will be 0 0.35 it will be 0 0.05 and it would be what it would be 0. 6 okay adding them all together we will see that when we will add them together so p1 plus p2 plus p3 this will be equal to 1 okay now taking these values and putting them all in this formula because this is the multinomial probability and we don't know the number of times uh, that uh, green lights up the yellow lights up and red lights up so taking them generally and for taking them generally let me take the number of time the green one lights up is equal to x1 and this is the small x1 for x2 this is small x2 and for x of 3 this is small x3 okay so putting them up we have to find the probability of x1 x2 x3 it will be what it will be the n factorial divided by the x1 factorial x2 factorial x3 factorial and their probabilities which will be p1 x1 p2 raised to power x2 and p3 raised to power x3 okay so let me write their values here we have to note down that this is the multiplication all over and n is equal to x1 plus x2 plus 
x3 okay let me write their value so n is unknown x1 factorial x2 factorial x3 factorial and the probabilities are already known so it would be 0 0.35 raised to power x1 multiplied by 0 0.05 raised to power x2 and the last one is 0 0.6 raised to power x3 so this would be what this would be probability of x1 x2 x3 and this is what this is the solution of our question which is what which is related to the multinomial probability okay so uh, that's it for today in which we have started our problem from a very core concept of the binomial probability law and we have extended it to the multinomial probability that how to identify that whether a certain problem is related to the multinomial probability or binomial probability so if you have any question you can ask me in the comment box see you soon